with Call of Duty Season 6 and Cold War Alpha coming out, we must realize that, hey, this is the end of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Let's reflect on the good and the bad of Call of Duty for 2019. And in my personal opinion, this was a great thing for COD, because we hadn't had a COD game this good in a while. It finally broke the curse. I'll get into it later. But for right now, enjoy the video. And one last thing, this dude, right here. He's probably a Fire Breath user. I hate him. I hate you. Get wrecked, kid. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, scrub. Any great game, any great Call of Duty game, needs good graphics, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 does this perfectly. I believe that this is an achievement for all games, everywhere, because this is amazing. Don't believe me? Enjoy this beautiful game. Sound is a essential for a video game. I mean, my mic isn't that good, but you know, at least you can hear me, and I can get my point across. But for video games, it needs to be perfect. Every sound needs to be perfect. This game is supposed to be modern, realistic. So the gun sounds, everything needs to be believable. Makes you feel like you're actually there. It's amazing, and I believe that they did it perfectly. Again, to prove my point, here are some of my favorite clips. And enjoy.
the best way I can describe Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019's campaign is it gives you what you pay for. It was nice to see a return of some characters and the addition of new ones. In the following clips, you'll see what I mean. But there was nothing too special about this year's. Other than the fact that it broke the curse of COD, that I like to call it. Nothing too special happened with this one. But it was enjoyable, nonetheless. And for what it's worth, it's good. It's really good. It's just not too special in the grand scheme of all COD. But yeah, that's better for the campaign. Let's get on with it. You see, the Curse of Cod is something that has been speculated on by many. At least by me. And to get into it, we must go back to where it began. People say it started with Call of Duty Ghosts and Advanced Warfare. But, for sake of argument, let's say it started at Advanced Warfare because, you know, Ghosts isn't on PS4. So, let's start there. The Call of Duty Curse started with Advanced Warfare. And don't get me wrong, this game is amazing in its own right. For It was the starting game of COD for the next generation of console, and for that, I give it props. But this is where the dry spell began. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was set in an alternate timeline in the future where North Korea invaded South Korea, and that started off a world war. This game was amazing for its time, and again, I will give it props for that. But it kicked off will be the curse of Call of Duty. It is not its fault for doing it, but the creators and the directors of COD's fault. Because this game had barely anything to do with it other than kicking it off. Wasn't its fault. Definitely wasn't. And I'm repeating myself because I need to get to you that it wasn't this game's fault. You see, this game was pretty good. The campaign was memorable, especially the F to pay respects part. And yeah, that was great. But the Call of Duty directors saw this success and copied it for a long, long time. And that, my friends, is how the Curse of COD started. I do not have Black Ops 3, so pretend this gameplay is Black Ops 3. But to give you the brief summary of it, it was voted the worst campaign by the Chaos Top 10. Check him out. He's a pretty good channel, I watch him sometimes, he's pretty cool. But, everyone didn't want this to be the end of Black Ops, because the only reason I personally play Call of Duty is for Black Ops. I love those games. And I was kind of disappointed when it came out. But, because it was another futuristic game copying off this design. And it was just a Black Ops game which gave it more influence and power and hype, and, but that really didn't work that well. So when this happened, it disappointed a lot of fans, including me. So the, it just continue, continued the dry spell and the curse for another year. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. The 2016 game that was notorious for basically copying Advanced Warfare. Just in a new year, different graphic. And it was at this point that people realized, hey, we don't want this type anymore. It really didn't add much to the multiplayer. It really didn't do much at all. It was just there as filler content for the Call of Duty series. Though, to give it the benefit of the doubt, it wasn't that bad of a game. I just truly believe that it couldn't be up to its potential because it didn't have much chance to begin with. It was just another reskin of futuristic designs. It had no chance in the world, and had no chance at all. But hey, it was still a good game in its own right, and I believe we should treat it as such. It's not its fault, it's the creator's fault. But now, on to Call of Duty World War II. Call of Duty World War II. What isn't there to say about this game? This game was something that we just didn't need. You see, Call of Duty tried this tactic of going back to its roots, because the original Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3 were based on World War 2. I held no grudges against that, because it was a good game. I've played those games, and went back to World of War's kind of design, and that was good. But it just wasn't what we needed. 
it was just trying to, hey, they didn't want futuristic, why not go to historic once again? It just truly wasn't what we needed as a player. And it, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, is my favorite campaign. It just, it really didn't add much to the multiplayer, like Advanced Warfare. It was just there. And then, for Black Ops 4, it just went back to futuristic. But then, Modern Warfare 2019 came out. And boy, was that a, f a breath of fresh air. Call of Duty Warzone. Call of Duty's greatest achievement, in my opinion. You see, a Battle Royale for Call of Duty had been heard of before. Black Ops Horror's Blackout had done this. But Warzone does it extremely, extremely well, and does it even better, in my opinion. This is a great way to get everybody playing your game. Because this was free, it makes the game that much more fun. A free game is always going to be a good game, in my opinion. And there are many things that make this game, and this part of the game, really, really, really good. The Gulag is an ingenious way to make sure that even after you get killed, you can still win and come back to the fight. If you lose, you'll lose, but that goes on to my next point. This is still a really good way to get players still playing your game after they die. Ingenious. Ingenious. If you lose Gulag, your teammates can buy you back. And getting your teammate back even if they lose is a great idea. Getting your loadout is an insanely good idea. If I think other games should do this. If you have a loadout from the normal game, from multiplayer, you can bring that into Warzone. That is amazing, and I really, really enjoy that. That's cool. Starting contracts with your friends to eliminate other players, get crates, or do other stuff like that. It's so fun, and you can get money from doing it, and it really helps you in the long term. It's really good, and that's a really cool part of Warzone. You see, Warzone not, may not be my cup of tea, but it, sh it is the cup of tea for a lot of other players. It's a really cool game idea, and I truly truly believe that this is a achievement for the game for the series for everything it's really cool and the fact that it's so replayable makes it so so nice but there are other battle royals that you could be playing wait come down here there's a vault having a seizure down here hold on I need a loot up please come down here before it stops Alright, is that another- it's another scope here, sir. Look at this, dude, look, 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 it's having a seizure. I'm coming down. Is it still doing it? Yeah, it's still doing it. See, look, it's- oh, it, it's, it's having a seizure. It was having more of a seizure, but you missed it, but that's that's okay, because you saw most of it. Stop shooting at the fat ass. <laughs> I can't run. I obviously can't run! <laughs> I'm going to take these clips out of context. Okay, now you're just letting me heal up. There's something obviously wrong with you. It's a Gibraltar, too! Oh, is that you? Oh, yeah, that's you me. That's right. <laughs> no, I'm just. Alright, I thought I'm you were bloody. like shooting at someone. He's in here. Yeah, let's get it. When I want a chicken dinner. But hey, I digress. Either way, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is a really, really good game. Warzone is free, so you should try it out. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.